What's up, YouTube? I hope you're all doing well. I am extremely delighted once again because now I have got the new lights for my KTM 390 Adventure X. So these lights I ordered from Vimal Bhai and uh, the lights are called Gold Runway. It's 50X and I'm excited to open this and see what's inside. I'll show you guys as well just so that we all know what you get in the box and then later we will see the installation of these lights. So these lights can be ordered from their official website and um, I chose to reach out to Vimal Bhai directly uh, because I got a good deal. I will share Vimal Bhai's uh, number in the description. Uh, do reach out to him and I have heard quite a lot of good reviews about uh, GR lights. Uh, one of a one of my close friend uh, Adi, he has it installed uh, on his uh, 850 GSA. That's a bigger one. That's 70x. Although for my uh, 390 Adventure X, I thought the 50x is uh, sufficient. So let's see what's inside the box. got some good packaging and the box is actually really heavy so i am i'm actually quite curious as to why this box is so heavy i think the weight i think since that's mentioned here um no i don't oh yeah 2.4 kgs i wonder what is in it for 2.0 kgs anyway are you ready here we go ah uh, slow and steady and <sighs> There we go. So gives us information. No, not much. So the MRP is mentioned as thirty-four five hundred GR fifty X Sport. So yeah, you have two versions in this. You have the Sport and you have the Combo. So in the Sport you have five LEDs in each of them, which are all Sport. In the Combo you get two of them as spread. I chose the Sport because um, I think that makes more sense for me. So here are the lights. Oh my god, this is pretty big. Didn't expect it to be so big. So yeah, this comes with the yellow filter um, standard. Okay, and uh, I'll remove that. And that's what it looks like. Okay, let's just keep it aside for some time. And we'll see what else is there in the box. With that was a big thud. We have some bolt-on screws. Ah, okay. This is very interesting. So, yeah. Uh, so, I, I really don't know whether this is a gimmick or it really has any use. But I'm sure if they have made this, it's with some thought. It comes with a dimmer switch. So, oh, wow. I love the way it feels. You know, I, I'm sure you can hear that. You hear those clicks? So this is to dim your uh, aux lights from 5% to 100% brightness. So that's that. And the wiring harness. So the good thing about these lights or uh, most of the good lights you have in market today is you don't have to splice any wires. You have an option in the bike where you can just, where this is just a plug and play uh, system. Okay. So we will go now uh, to our friend's workshop, Expedition Motors, and get this installed. And probably they'll let me shoot the video of how it is installed. And uh, then we'll see how the result is. So this is the landmark Royal Enfield showroom, very close to uh, Madiwala Lake. And this here is Expedition Motors. So also I ordered this neck brace from Motorin because this whole section vibrates when we are at lower revs. So it acts as a stabilizer. So let's open this and see what's inside. It also comes with the instructions of how to install this. 
So I'll show you more during the installation process. I forgot to show you guys is that you even get these clamps in the box so which will be very useful in the installation of these lights so work is in progress we are waiting for the main uh, bracket to hold those lights so we already got some routing done over here so our light mount has arrived this is from my dog and this is how it's gonna come and we would be mounting the light over here this way which fits over here I won't be fitting it back here so what Varun is doing is Varun hi he's, going, he's installing a clamp over here so that the number plate fits here the artwork of Mr. Anand from Expedition Motors Okay. Okay. the maximum Okay. Either you can switch off like this only. Okay. Then when you switch it on, it will come into very Same. Okay. Okay. Or you will reduce it. My suggestion is you choose the intensity and leave it. Okay. Don't just fiddle with it all the time. You switch on this side. How to do the strobe modes? Any idea? I have no idea. Long press. Oh my god. Uh, there are three strobe modes in Raleigh. Anna. Anna. Two. Long press. Three. Okay. Long press. And this is what it looks like from the front. So what are the changes we have done? We have installed the lights in this fashion the number plate stay we've removed and it's gone over here now and this is where the dimmer switch is going to be so so let's say when i'm riding this is all i do so finally the lights are installed and i'll quickly show you what it looks like so this is low beam this is high beam and This is full dim, full blown and high beam. That's the difference guys, that's the difference. A couple of things left to do after the installation of a uh, light is I'm planning to do a PPF on this on both the sides and this the reason being that when i'm riding on the road there is a possibility that small pebbles and things like that can keep hitting the the glass and i don't want any swirl marks forming on this i can always remove the ppf and change it in future so to get the best light or light out of these products i'm doing a ppf on on these
Now that concludes the Oxlite installation on my KTM. I know you have a question in your mind. Why did I go for those Rexian covers instead of a blackout cover? See, I have seen that there are three problems with the blackout cover. Okay, the first one is you can lose one of them when you're riding hard. My friend Adi, he lost one of his yellow filters. Uh, the second reason being, it's very easy to be flicked by somebody if you leave it in an unattended parking spot. The third is the rubber mount can get brittle over a period of time because of sunlight. Now, it makes sense to me to save some money on an unwanted stuff because I just have to keep the lights covered in the city. And this Rexian thing works really well for, for that matter. And second is it gives a little underrated look. And somebody will think, okay, some Dabba lights have been installed and probably it's not going to draw attention uh, towards that. <laughs> That's my reasoning behind it. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. Uh, for those who are looking to install aux lights on their uh, new motorcycle, GR is a good option. I have included Bimalbai's number in the description. You can go through the website, but I did get a better deal talking to him directly. So that's a different, uh, uh, that's a good uh, uh, route to go through. Also, I have included the uh, Expedition Motors number, the place where I got uh, the aux lights installed. Uh, these guys are fab. I mean, they have the expertise. Varun, Pali, a uh, fantastic team. Uh, the way they worked, they had to rack their brains to understand the connections and everything, but they did it fantastic. They have done a fabulous job. So, finally, service, installation of lights, uh, also restoration of your motorcycles. Do go to Expedition Motors. They are really, really good at what they do. So, this is Water Explorer now, signing off. Please keep showing some love because that's going to motivate me to keep doing what I'm doing right now. Thank you.